King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. And on this episode of King of the Palace, the number five seed, Rick Kamrowski, who defeated the Ghost Rider last week, faces a newcomer in the number three seed, and Richie Myrick. Should be a great match between two candlepin bowlers. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my right, last week defeating Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze, Rick Kamrowski. Welcome back, Rick. Good to be back. And the number three seed to my left with a roll-off score of 414, Richie Stewie Griffin Myrick. Welcome, Richie. Oh, man, I, I feel like you're, uh, you're really digging for that, aren't you? I am. you got to give the, give the folks a little Stewie. Uh, all right, a little bit, a little bit. Going to bowl a little candle pin this afternoon, this evening. What time is it anyway? It's time for you to get a new job. <laughs> I had to put him on the spot. He does a great Stewie impression. Uh, <laughs> Richard, what are your thoughts about the uh, match coming forward? Uh, based on the last match, uh, I don't know. I mean, that was an explosive one between uh, Johnny Blaze and Rick was, I mean, he just, he buried him. The last two boxes, unbelievable. So, uh, let's see, 20 boxes, anything can happen. Exactly. And Rick, your thoughts? I got a tough match again. This doesn't get any easier. Rick's a great bowler. Yeah, you don't make it to the king of the palace if you don't bowl well. Uh, Richie, what are your thoughts on the title belt? Uh, it's fantastic. I mean, the glimmer. I mean, I really have a headache right now, as a matter of fact. You'd love to see this on your right waist, wouldn't you? Mm. Well, good luck to you both, and I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on Alley 3, newcomer to the King of the Palace, the number three seed. Number three seed. Richie Stewie Myrick. He's no stranger to be in front of the cameras, though. He was a staple on Comcast for a while. Yeah, and he's also the co-host of FICO's New England Candle Pins. First ball delivery. Oh, oh wow. a back door triple. I actually um, had the opportunity to watch him bowl in the qualifier, and it's pretty impressive. He's he's a phenomenal bowler, Richie. He is unbelievable. He's a sub on the Friday Night Pro League. I can't remember what, for what team, but uh, yeah, he's just tremendous. What a yep. shot. Wood player. Played the wood on the right. Woody Wood player. Opens up with a mark. I, no, I would have figured he would have gone right at the pin. I never would have yeah. expected him to. Yeah, right, unless, right. Unless, unless it was just the jitters and. Could be anything. Felt maybe like he was a little off. Had, maybe you have better feeling to play the wood. Yeah. yeah. David, I've said it time and time again. It's what? It's Candlepin Bowling. Nobody knows. <laughs> he wants to load it up. He found the hit. Look at this. Ooh, He's nine left pin drop the again. He's seven left the pin. seven pin again. Back to back boxes, leaving the seven pin. Richie comes out of East Hampton, Mass. His average is. Uh, 118. His high singles are 119. His high. That's that's wrong. <laughs> oh, he must be messing with me. <laughs> His high triple is a 469. Uh, no good. Nine box. And his home alleys are canal lanes and fun time lanes. He's been bowling for 25 years. Up now. That probably should say 219. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, probably. Let's do it. Okay. Up. Uh, up now, the number five seed who defeated Johnny Ghost Rider Blaze last week, Rick Kamrowski. We're just full of, full of nicknames around here, aren't we? <laughs> Rick came up with Mark in the last box last week, filled it. Double mark. One. Double mark, actually, double mark, but he needed a mark in the last box. You talk about pressure pulling yeah. people out there in bowling land, and he threw a strike. He threw a A little nervous on the microphone, but not nervous on the alley, that's for sure. <laughs> Rick's average is a 112, his high single is a 180, his high triple is a 447. And he comes out of Lucky Strike Lanes in Lynn, Massachusetts. He shoot for three. Hey, nice, nice. nice. Great nice. pinning. Well, we got a break here, Dave. We want to welcome our great, great sponsor, our good friend, Martin Dabino, up there at North End Mazda Subaru. By North End, by North End .com. Go up and say hello to Marty Babineau and his crack staff of salespeople. They will take care of you. Gotta get him on the show. And yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying. He's, you know, he's a busy man. Oh, yeah. Um, so hopefully I can try to get him up for the scratch one. That'd be kind of cool to have him sit behind the sure. mic. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Come on down, Martin. Also, we are looking for sponsors for season four. four. So if yep. you know anybody, um, anybody that has a business that is... Um, oh, nice, nice shot. Nice spin. Anybody that has a business that's looking to uh, advertise, we are looking for sponsors. Um, so contact you, David? Yep. You contact, uh, you know, go to newpalacelanes.com and uh, throw an email up. Uh, telephone call with people. Yep. Call the alleys. 
Now there was a case there where uh, just getting back quickly to box number two for Rick, he threw the strike ball to get the spare, and he delivered it, and he got the spare. Now Rick, oh, oh there you oh, go. No. No. no, no. Welcome to the Dread Eagle, kid. <laughs> He's hit the head pin three times in a row. He gets two nine drops, and then this. Just a quick reminder that we had to take five bowlers for this qualifying round because the reigning champ, now former champ, Dan Trenard, could not be here for personal reasons. Right through the hoop. Yeah, due to prior commitments, he could not make it back. Yep. <sighs> but he, by all, by all stretch of the means, you know, he was the reigning king. Uh, talk about frustration to the people out there. Oh, nice one. Okay. Seven out of that. Hits the head, couldn't get to seven. <laughs> After, after getting two nine drops open. I want to thank um, everybody at FATV um, for all their hard work in putting this show together. Our OEPD does an outstanding job. I um, want to thank all the viewers on YouTube and, of course, all the bowlers that make this possible. Absolutely. Without the bowlers, um, there would be no King of the Palace. Nope. Great you know, turnout once again. The best there again. is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. And we welcome all your comments. Keep, keep them coming. I know I answer a lot of them on YouTube, Facebook. Keep them coming. And if you want uh, King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, just contact your local public access provider. Oh, nice. And ball. Richie, what a nice shot. Nice shot by you. Yep, we, um, nice we are looking shot. at it taking on, taking on the road next season. Um, we do have a couple of prospects. It's just going to take a little while to try to work out all the details and make Thank sure everybody's happy campers and if the, you know, if the reigning king, if we do it from scratch, or if we do See it, if he can 80%. make it up or her. Once again, yeah. it could, it's up, David Dennis. It's open to Lady Bowlers too. Absolutely, it is. We'd love to have a queen of the palace. Definitely. I'm oh. still waiting patiently for that. Come on, Lynn. Come on down. And we're also thinking about. There may be. Um, Bills and spare with a seven. Uh, we're gonna throw it out there to see if there's. Um, uh, maybe a kids one. Yeah. I was talking to Dave about that earlier. Why not? We'll have a kids show. All these left to one. The three, the eight, wood all over the place. Let's see what happens. Got a contact. Oh, oh I just missed it. Just missed it. Short pin. He knows it. When Rick's not bowling, um, he likes to throw darts. He bowls on the Friday night mixed league once a night. It's the doubles league and lucky strike and Lynn. He wants to give a shout out to his wife, Debbie, and his family, his daughters, Kara and Kelly and Susie, and his son, Jared. Okay, he's up on the lane number four, box number four, string number one. Second round of the qualifying step ladder series for the King of the Palace. Let's see what happens. Deliberate left handed ball from the head pit. Look at this. Come fall down, will you? No. Do you think it would fall down for <laughs> that? Now, you know, now look at this, people. The thing's wiggling. Get us. <laughs> oh, nope, spraying and praying, kid. Why didn't it fall of, down? A lot of junk on the deck. I know that, but you got to say it did get hit because it's wiggling. Yeah. See, you defeated. Yeah. I defeated Four, you Four, nine, that time. and ten. It wasn't hit hard enough. Well, okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I probably would have went to that dead wood on the left and tried to yeah. sweep it over. Oh, this game sometimes is. There's no justice. There's no justice. <laughs> it's Candlepin Ball. I know I say it all the time. Again, want to thank um, FATV for all their hard work and for mm -hmm. nominating us. Or on air personality, so I guess we are the, the award winning. Award winning commentary. King Great of the feeling. Palace TV uh, show. Wow, I've said it, David Dennis, time and time, but there's nothing like Cane Up in Bowling. It's the greatest sport in the world. Oh, 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 look at that. Kills a spear with a strike. Fuck the fuck. I'm expecting Damn. big things out of Richie. I'm Boy, not. Boy, does he throw that ball. Uh, why are you saying that, Dave? <laughs> You get nervous? No, no. again, no. G David? No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, you sure? Um, when uh, the men's room's right over there, we're gonna get rid of the nerves. When, oh, when Richie's not bowling, he loves baseball and he loves legal gambling and general nonsense. Oh, he, nonsense is definitely his repertoire. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> in case you missed it, he does a tremendous Stewie Griffin impersonation from. Yes, Canada. he does. I, I actually asked him for it, and he gave it to me. The first time. Hey, <laughs> the first time I heard it was at the Worlds last year, and I just couldn't believe it. It just blew my mind. Well, he's got the 7, the 9, the 10. Which would we go? I'm going to go wait. I'll try to take at least two to fill the strike. Oh. Well, the ball's still working. Hold on. Could come back. Come you never on, know. Come on. Come on. Maybe. 
thrown around in into the that, gutter. You know, if it hit that temp, it would have sounded. If it goes down, or we got to go retrieve it. Nope. Oh, we yep. may have to go retrieve it. Oh, John Blaze, the ghost writer, going down to help us out here. Yep, look at that. Everybody's on lending a hand. Now, there, here's a case where we get a little break in the action, Dennis and Dave. Why do you have to remove the ball, but you don't have to remove dead pit? You De don't dead technically wood. have to have the ball removed, but you want to so your ball doesn't smash into it and sm but not, no, split no. it in half. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> yep, so see, it's the bowler's call. Yes. See, yes. Seen yes. that happen, too. Did not know that. The dead wood, you don't have a choice when it's behind the line, but your ball, you definitely do. Did not know that. Thank and you. Johnny Blaze is getting a hand. See, that's what it is. I, there's always something yeah. for Steve to learn. I know I say it all the time. I'm always <laughs> focusing, thinking, and concentrating oh, on can open bowling. And we got a question of the week. comes from Irv Koff of Nova Scotia. My question is about the different types of bowling balls and the different types of lane surfaces. Does it make a difference if you are bowling on maple lanes or synthetic surfaces to the type of bowling ball you would use? For example, does a hard paramount ball behave differently than a soft Ram Pro rubber ball on the different surfaces. Love the show and look forward to it each week on YouTube. Yes, they definitely do react differently, but it also depends on how you throw your ball. So there is no technical answer, but certain balls work better on certain lanes depending on how you throw it. Whether you throw a hook, a slow ball, a fast ball, a quick gets a spear. Believe it or not, I um, I have a set, set of uh, the, the, the urethane balls and I cannot throw them on a synthetic alley to save my life. Why? I have no idea. What my ball just doesn't react. Oh, that's what we, the viewers are going to. My I ball doesn't to, react. Yeah, I had the reactive views in the Pilgrim. When you, David, when you mean do, doesn't react, you mean you can't control where you want to throw. Right. Yeah. Okay. When Pilgrim went half synthetic and, and I had my urethane balls, they, I just, the harder I threw it, the more right to, to the right it went. It was just ridiculous. Yeah, I have. Um, Rick fills the spear. So, me. Rick fills the spear with an eight and leaves the spear. Leave. Go ahead, David. I'm sorry. I use. Um, I actually have a, a set of Paramount balls that I've been using since I was for like about 15 years, um, and I love them. They're beat up, but you know what? They work on all surfaces. Yeah. It's 10 bucks. Well, yours truly has two green balls. Two red balls that both my daughters bought for me for Christmas at different times with Grandma, not knowing that each one was bowling balls for the father, and they're the same, and I've had them for, I don't know, 38. Yep, 30, Steve 35. is the most superstitious person I've ever bowled with. Yep. Green ball and the red ball, all depends on how he feels. He uses the same uh, sponge. Oh, no, look at that. Wow, he threw it again. Oh. After six, Rick Kamrowski was at 78, and Richie Marek at 81. And he throws, it opens up the good match in my hands. Yeah. Hey, look, look at this, people. Oh, how much of this can I take? Oh. I'm waiting for your head to explode. Oh, I was waiting for that to happen. That's the second time he's done it. He did that. Yeah, he's trying to put the yeah. inside. Yeah, the inside, inside of it. Yeah. yeah, but inside left or inside right? Don't know. That I don't know, because it's going straight down the middle. That's right. You know what? Sometimes, to be 100% honest with you, if I overthink something, then I usually throw it away yeah. by accident. 90% mental, remember? Yep. So. In your case, all mental. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why you get yeah. nervous. Huh? David, yeah. Why would I be nervous? I'll lend you well, my David. Because you're bowling next week, you actually made the show. Oh, David, I'll lend right. you. I'll yours, lend you. yours truly has definitely. Um... David, I'll lend you my sponge. <laughs> Nice ball. Nice pick. You saw that the nice whole way down. Talk, talk about following up the spread eagle. And what do you get, Dennis? David? A hammer. A hammer. Clean up on aisle four. Boy, he just exploded those pins. Told you, Rick. Uh, Richie's got a great ball. Um, yeah, no, I, um, first time I actually got to really try to qualify, and who knew it? <laughs> so all you guys. Um, this goes to show you, doesn't it? Oh, look at this. It's going to be a back door. It looked like it for a minute. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> next week, the winner of this match, I will be facing. All right, let me put you on the spot since you've done it to me. Who would you rather face? Uh, I already know the answer to this one, but why don't you fill us in? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I was bowling against uh, next to me in the qualifying round against uh, Richie. <coughs> and it comes down to this. Do I want to bowl... Rick Kamrowski, because it'll be a scratch match, or do I want to bowl against Richie, where he'd be giving me a couple of pins, and I've seen how he bowled. So, either one, doesn't matter. You ducker. 
I'm not, you're a duck in the question. Oh, look at this, nice. wrecking the rack. But nice I'll put it to you this way, okay? When I was bowling next to, to Richie, okay, in the qualifiers, um, we both threw, um, our second strings were both 149s. Nice. You know, so. After eight, Rick Kamrowski and Richie Marek are both tied at 98, and both are working on strikes. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter who I face. It all depends on how, how well I bowl. So well, if, the, I, if I suck, you guys are going to let me know. I'm well, just gonna oh, that's a given. The, be, we'll be ripping you up on commentary. The question is, David, are you going to show? Am I going to show up? To show up. The pressure may get to you. I don't know. I've never been on camera before. Well, Besides, I've always been behind the camera. I've never actually uh, you're, you're, bowled. You're our friends. You'll be here. You're our both friends Working today. on a strike. This mark. It's the ninth box. Leaves the 610 with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Yeah, one right very, in front. Yeah, very favorable wood in front of it. There you Good go. Stuff. The ninth box in Candlepin Bowling, better known as the foundation box. Comes up with a spear on the strike. Two marks in a row. He's going off some turkey. Going to really put the pressure on Rick Hamill. Well, so box I'm, to box, it was even. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm pretty sure Steve's going to be, like, cracking jokes about me and mentioning all the challenges. And I would never do that to a ball. Yeah, you would. Look at this ball. Oh, wow. Look a hell of a lot better no, than that. No, wait a minute. He, he just buries. Oh, come on. Come, come on. And he's left. He's the Mongo. He's left the Mongo right. I think he uh, put a little extra oomph on that. Yeah. Three, five, yeah, he did throw the ball faster. I think it's wow. done psychologically. Dennis, you're on the mark and throw a little faster. I know it's happened to me. It, do, it does happen, yeah. yeah. You, you, all of a sudden, you throw the, you hold the ball tighter. Oh, oh look nice at that sidewall action. Three in a row. He's got a turkey. He's got a fill. He's got a fill. One minute. Hey, Johnny Blaze is uh, um, uh, 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 Skyping. Nice. FaceTiming? He's FaceTiming. Who, he's, who are we FaceTiming? Hey, Dad, how you doing? Phil, here is your what, Dennis? One He's at 135 plus his Phil. Oh, oh, look at this pitch. Oh, oh he cut down seven. Excellent. 142, nice great string. Way to open up. Marks, uh, he had six marks that string. Well, I, I may have a shot if I bowl myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anything is possible. Well, Rick's up here in the ninth box. Valley, excuse me, lane number three, box number nine, the foundation box, and he's on the string. Oh, would he love to get it up? Oh, we all did. Oh, look at that. He wow, look at that. Double. He got the double. Oh, you yeah. talk about pressure. Bowling after last week. Remember, guys? People up there in Yeah, Berlin? yeah. Finished with a spare strike. Needed two marks to win, and he did it. He's like a silent assassin up there. You, yeah. wouldn't, think, you wouldn't think his ball just cuts right in there, and it just explodes. Oh, it just exploded the pins. There you go. Doesn't silent assassin. That's his nickname. Silent assassin. Silent I like assassin. that. Who used to be called the baby-faced assassin in, in basketball, pro basketball? I don't follow basketball. I could not answer. Well, he used to be a, a point guy in Detroit Pistons named Isaiah Thomas. And you are Johnny most nicknamed him the baby-faced assassin. Okay. He's got five fill in his first strike. Big fill here. Well, 15, I should say. He needs to mark to stay close. Let's see. Uh, oh, it didn't, oh wow. didn't cut in for him. But he fills in the second one with an eight. Not bad at all. He could possibly finish with a 141 if he gets. Uh... And gets a nine oh, box. Look at this people in Bowling Lane. What have we got, Dennis? A one? So after one, Rick Kamrowski at 140, Richie Myrick at 142. Two pin lead. What a match. Yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely. Spectacular bowling. Absolutely. That's right. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's applauding. Audience giving an applause. Oh. Well deserved. You talk about pressure bowling, you talk about excellence in bowling, there it is. All right, up now, Rick Kamrowski to start the second string on alley three. And he's uh, down by two. Deaths. Two pins, what a yeah. first string, 140 to oh, 142. He wants to come out of this first box with a spare strike. Okay. Two wide left. Left the one, the three, the six, the five, and the eight. eight. Some wood. Well, maybe throws a strike ball, he gets the spit. Yeah, try to split him. And uh, that Deadwood would hopefully take out the eight pin for him. Man, oh, yeah. it. You called it, Dennis. You I, called it. I'm just good this month. <laughs> you, bet, I know it. <laughs> you call them all. Yours truly, 0 for 3. Well, no, I did call one. In the yeah, that's right. I did. Yeah. Working on the mark. Alley 4. Wants to put the pressure right on. Rick. Gives me on to uh, Richie. Richie wants to throw the eight, nine, or ten fill. Let's see what happens. Oh, 
Well, you might have another one. Come on, come Hold on. on. Oh, not enough juice on it. I wonder what the speed of that pin has to roll at to knock the pin. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm thinking of weirdest things. Well, there's <laughs> got to be a reason well, why that pin stood up and, and when the dead wood hit it. He it's tells you all the time when he's driving in his car. Oh, nice pick up. He tells you all the time when he's driving in his car. He doesn't listen to the radio yeah, or something true. like that. He just thinks of all but see, it's, He thinks of ways to like aggravate him. It's not no, always no. the speed of the pin. <laughs> it's it's where it hits it also. No, that's okay. no de to correct you, de uh, David, I'm thinking... Focusing and concentrating on what? Driving. Yeah. They should be. <laughs> and can open bowling. Oh, nice ball. Oh, oh, first ball. Oh. Hammer. And he opens up with a hammer. Three out of three boxes. We got mocks. You don't think either one of these guys want this? Well, after the smoke clears, after this tournament, we are crowning a new king. So Absolutely. it doesn't matter who it is. I don't know. Rich keeps bowling like this. He's going to take over my second spot for a high two string total. Oh. Oh, my goodness. The first place is who else? Mr. Billy Palumbo. We wish you all the best to get better soon. Yep, we'll hopefully see you back we'll see you there. soon. Now he throws it wide right. right, and look at this. He's left the one and the two. Nice piece of wood. Just makes any type of contact with the head. Yeah, that's pretty locked. Spare. Even if he hits the two pin on this, it might take out the head yeah. pin. The position of the wood here, people in viewing land. Now, a little extra time. I don't have my work cut off me no matter who, which one I face oh, next. Just think of it this way. They're getting it all now. There you go. They are on strike. Yeah, well, Rick, Rick's done it twice. Yo. Oh, this is going to be heated. Oh, you talk about pressure going out of the last, yeah, three, six, eight, ten. Look at this people viewing land. Out of the last ten boxes of the bowlers, we've had nine marks. Yeah, yeah it's great bowling. Great bowling. Sometimes you're lucky you're doing good if you get five. <laughs> the oh, Look at yeah. this. Look at this. And he gets a strike. Oh, this is unbelievable. What a match. What a match. He's got the turkey. And there's nothing about juice down these alleys. No. They're just great pitches. Ask the people who were trying to qualify on these two lanes earlier. They were, they were just getting robbed left and right. Oh, it's Rick Kamalski going after, going after an eagle. Any combination of four spears and strikes. In a row and can't open bowling is an eagle. Let's see what happens. Talk about pressure bowling and bowling out. Found the head. Oh, wow. look at this. The three, the nine, the ten. Now, here's a pin people we call the nine pin a sleeper pin. Because you uh, Yeah, your best bet to play the four pin off the wall. It's also. Tucked right in. Also, can't open bowling, it's also known as a bombing. Well, the three pin, I should say, not the four pin. Three pin off the wall. The sleeper pin is also oh, the same spot. Same spot. But what's he got after four? 66 after four. Great ball, my ball. That includes his five pin handicap. Well, here we go. Richie up on the spear, lean number three. It's going to come right down three. the. It's going to come down the hoop links first. Yeah. Well, exactly. And that's the type of match I'd love to see. Just pound, pound the head pin and hit. Spare strike, spare strike all the way out. And a little extra time for Richie here, too. Found it. Look at this. Look at this. A wow. nine drop and left the six pin. Geez, I hope I just show up next week. Ah, <laughs> no, you'll be fine. <laughs> David, you know what you're looking at here? These guys are what? Won't throw up. The mocks are. Oh. It's great bowling. Oh, that, no, no question. Oh, okay. Another spare. What do we call that in boat candle pin bowling? He what? He faced it. Slapped it in the face. Slapped it in the face. In the face. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, that's Just to show you, Richie Myrick has thrown 13 boxes so far, and he has nine marks out of those 13. Well, that means Follow the head pin. Oh. Wow. Look. These are the 510. Oh. No wood on the deck. How does that happen? He's tough, this is gonna be a tough, tough pickup. Box to box with that fill, the match is even. It's actually make it, makeable. Slice that five over right. on the yep. left hand side. Well, David, if I can add the five and ten, better known as what? The Woolworth. Also known as. Ooh. A terrible leaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a given. It'd be a little bit better if you had a little piece of wood on the deck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he wants to make sure he's the head pin in at least five. Ooh. Right. What do we got, Dennis? After four. Rich Cam Rick Kamrowski at 66, Richie Myrick at 65. One pin lead for Rick Kamrowski right now. This is a nail biter. This is going to be a good, great match. We got we opened up with six marks out of what? Out of eight bar 
Well, the yeah. first six boxes. Yeah. Well, six out of eight yeah. for the string. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And what we finished with? Five out of six. Yeah, it's great first bowling. One. You did say one time you got ten knocks in one string. Yes, at Metro Bowl during the summer. Yeah. You mentioned that. Well, a little weak there on the left so side. So I got a question for you. I got an answer. <clears throat> now, I'm not... Well, I should say New Palace Lanes is not uh, uh, ICBA or NBA house. Okay. All right. So, if somebody on the show threw 10 marks in a row and threw a perfect 300, would they count it? No, because you do not have file lights. Yeah, that, you that alone. Remember. When you're a member of that, those See, that's two a bunch of horse crap. Well, that's yeah. Matt Penkel on his Tuesday night league at Metro tied the world record. But they did not count it because the foul lights were not on. But were they a member? Well, it was. A, I, this was a, once an NBA house. Right, but that, I don't. I don't know if that matters as much as the first thing they look at is uh, do you have foul lights and are they on? No, but you have to be a member for the way I understand. Hey, that could be you, true too. Yeah, I'm not sure. A, yeah. They won't consider anybody's record unless you're a member. That could be all. They'll guarantee yeah. you if you're a if you're oh, a member. On the pin. Look at this. If you're a member, then what a disaster. The, the record will stand. Right. Yeah. But to be a member, I think it costs like what two grand a lane. Yeah, something like that. But to turn around and, and see somebody actually do that on this show. Oh, it'd be awesome. And it's on camera. It's it's hard to it's yeah. hard to deny. Right. Look at speak but then that. they would talk about well, did he lob it? Did he fit foul? That, that's that's what they're looking for. A hate is going to hate. No, I'm talking about the ICBA. That's what they look at. Uh, I know. To call it an actual world record. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait to see if the ICBA recognizes the King of the Palace TV show. Oh, what, what a bid on that one. Well, Liz Moore, she's going to be on Alley Chat soon, so we can ask her some questions. Speaking of that, I did a little interview with Alley Chat Radio about the King of the Palace show. It went very well, very positive. Oh, very good. That should be airing on uh, Frank Face's Alley Chat Facebook page within the next week or so. Excellent. Anything to promote? Anything? Almost anything. No. I do have my limits. No, you don't. No, you don't. I've never heard. I... No. Richie leaves the one, two, four, seven, eight. Wood is no factor. Would that nope. be a reverse Kaleri? No. 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 The four horsemen. Just a mess. Friends. Oh, oh what a shot. Nice shot. He's in the zone right now. Yeah, Myrick is unstoppable right now with these marks. One, two, three. Five out of six, right? <sighs> four out of five for the four show. Four out of five. Boy, well, see what happens. Go on to fill it with an eight, nine, and ten to get to the King of the Pals final match next week. And well, it's not the final match. No, it just moves on to the next step of the ladder. Ladder, right. Nine, Phil. Faces the number two seat. And who might that be down to number two seat? What's his uh, name? Some man? clown. Yeah, some, yeah. Some, another first time ball. Some, no, some nobody has been, never was. Well, which is it? Has been or never will be. Is that the, is that the ball that I talk about? Everything he knows about ball. Oh, oh, wow. Nice clown. Nice pickup. Nice match. That's the same clown who won the uh, Twin City Challenge. Fitchburg in the women's career. After six, Rick Kamrowski at 83, Richie Marek at 94, working on his feet. I'm going to tell you what, watching these two bowl, if I bowl and I suck, you guys are going to let me hear it. Oh, that's a given. And I'll crack myself up. Don't worry. There may be some bleeping going on for the first time ever. <laughs> Found the head. Oh. Come on, fall down. Well, that piece of Deadwood stopped that yeah. Deadwood from taking out the nine. Well, he's left the... Well, he's got some... That, it's actually a pretty decent angle if he can yeah. get it to well, work Well, he's got to right. attack the, the three pin. It's got the nine pin behind it, a sleep the pin off, better known as... I go to the little, uh, the left of the me, no. Oh. Had to make contact with the, the three. Just slid by it. It's a big box. Neither the Mac. Let's see what happens. Nice. Nice 10 box. That is so difficult to do when oh, just sure. those two pins there. When the, the whole rack's there, you punch it out left yeah, and right. Yeah. By itself, very, very yeah. difficult. Exactly. Okay, he's got three left to go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he needs a mark right now because Richie can just yeah, pour it on. Pour it on, Left the one, the two, the four, four, seven. He came up in Bowling Dennis. This is better known as the washout. Washout. 
You got a piece of deadwood that's coming up. It's just touching the head pin. Okay, where it, you it going? It is angled perfectly so to take I'm, out the seven. I'm going to the right of the head pin. Yeah, I would. I would go on this outside the one on this one. Time, I don't think I'd split them. No, they split them. That deadwood's going to go off the wall and just go around the seven. Oh, I was a little full on it. Oh, how'd that not stay up? Oh, Richie Myra can just put him away right he now. Gets, he gets one mark with a big fill on it, forces him to get a double strike. It's box to box completed. Myrick is up 13 pins plus whatever his fill is right now. And he's facing two open boxes. It's two open boxes at 10 and 9. Again, keep the comments coming. YouTube, Facebook, I comment back quite a bit. And if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods on local access, just contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace. All you have to do is fill out one piece of paper, and they contact us, and there you go. You have it. Doesn't cost you a penny. Well, we're five fill. We're really four fill. Four fill. We're really striving next year to put it on the road, right, yeah, Dennis? Take it on. We already have a couple of houses that are interested. Yeah. Said so they would host oh, we'll King of the Palace. Oh, we'll go anywhere. Anything to promote well, the pinball. Yeah. I don't know about anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what nice a shot! Up, nice shot. Three in a row again. He's got another turkey. Six out of seven. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's in the works. So um, at some point in time, next season, if everything, all the stars align, we'll, we will be taking the show on the road. And if you, you want it in your neck of the woods, just, call, just talk to one of your local uh, alley owners and see uh, if they're interested in hosting it and give us a call. So so send us an email. Fills the spear with an eight. Excellent can up in bowling. Going after the nine, the ten, if he makes it. What does he got, Dennis, if he makes it? An eagle? An eagle. Four in a row is an eagle. Absolutely correct. Very, very difficult to get in the can open. Sometimes one mark is difficult oh, to get. I know. This game, <laughs> he's going he's for the wood. Yeah, oh, he's going to shot. There's the eagle. Another eagle. Now, see, there's, there's the veteran read on that one where he knew it was he'd be a better shot at making it by playing that deadwood. Well, there's no doubt about it. Rick needs a double strike. Yeah, after eight, Rick Kamrowski at 102. Richie Myrick at 126 working on a spear. He needs a, needs a double strike. Yeah, he needs. Seen him do it. Oh, that's that's, that's that true. Last week he got the strike on the spear on, on his back. Box to box, Rick is down 25 pence. Look at this mess. So I could be facing uh, Stewie, huh? Yeah. How's your Peter Griffin impression? <laughs> <laughs> I only do SpongeBob. By the way, who's the, the, the challenger's name next week, Dennis? That would be Mr. Dave Madera, right, owner, know, proprietor of New Palace Lanes, in tournament fifth, director of the King of the Palace. Oh, no, no, no. Founder. Founder, Founder. tournament director. Tournament director. Co-host. Oh, oh, what a shot. shot. Oh, people watch nice. this. He's going down swinging, that's for sure. Excellent, excellent shot. Just to give you some perspective, Richie Marek has 13 marks out of 18 boxes. That's good to know. Thanks. Unbelievable. Well, how many is <laughs> how many is Rick Kamowski got? Rick has eight. Oh. He leaves the one, four, nine, ten. Six fill in the spear. Well, if he wants any type of. Well, it might be kind of tough. Yeah, yeah. it's got to get the spear. I go to the left of the head pin. Hopefully, the ball hits that dead wood and sweeps up the nine, ten. Wow. Well, now we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, so we have a we have a winner. Yeah. Six box for 124 string, two string total of 264, which is nothing to sneeze at. Congratulations to um, Richie Myrick. Yeah, Richie Myrick is already. Yeah, he's already won. Yeah, he's already. Won. Rick needs a double strike, but he bowls a 264 and he's out of it. Going to Imagine that. Box. Like I said, my two-string total might be in de jeopardy right now. There's my, there's my opponent for next week. He's at 133. 133 after spare. eight. He's left the three, the six, the ten. Better known can up in bowling as the Queen's leave. Yeah, but that's some bad wood. Yeah, that wood's bad. Yeah. Well, I hope I do you guys justice next week. Well, just blow your ball. That's all you can do. Yep, see what happens. Just concentrating on what, David? Get the head pin. Don't worry about what he throws. Worry about what you throw. That's right. It's me in the alleys. That's me right. and ten pins. <clears throat> 10 pins, 20 boxes. And a lot of cameras. <laughs> nah, I don't even think about it. <laughs> and Steve on the microphone. It's not the Well, that you need to worry about. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't release him. Right now, Richie's at 284. Yeah, but David, there's, there's nobody around. 
that enjoys this or which will promote it more than I. You know my nice ball. Right now he is tied with me for the two string total. He just needs this one pin to beat me. Oh, I don't think he can catch Billy Palumbo though. We pill 180 and what? Yeah, three something. There he goes. So Myrick takes over the second spot. Look at this phenomenal ball. How many marks? I got my work cut out for me, boys. Yeah. 14 marks out of 20 Look boxes. That. And how many? Two open boxes. Look at that. This string. Yeah. For the first. Spectacular one. bowling from Two open Richie boxes. Stewie that's all he's had. That looks like a hammer. There oh, you go. Is. Wow. Dropping a bomb. Great That's bowling. Look at people. Congratulations to Stewie. Ball. Some great oh, bowling three right there. 3 4 for how many? Richie Marek finished with a 162 for a two-string total. A 304 to Rick Kamrowski's 264. You bowled 264 for two and you still move. Like 36, 38 pins. Rick Unbelievable. I, I got nothing to say. I'm flabbergasted. Congratulations to both bowlers. Congratulations. Great. Rick Kamrowski had five spares and three strikes. Richie Marek had 11 spares and three strikes. And congratulations again to uh, Richie Marek, who will be facing the number two seed, yours truly. With that being said, let's get to Dennis Nuzzo in the 11th box, and we'll see you all next week. Go get him, Dennis. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's winner, Richie Myrick. Richie, what a match. It was, uh, it was a terrific match. Rick Bull took uh, awesome. I mean, I couldn't shake him. Yeah, the first ring was 140 to 142. And then Rick started coming on, but you just were relentless. And you actually took over the second spot for the second highest two-string total. Uh, second place is the first loser, but uh, thanks anyhow. Well, the first is held by, held by Billy Palumbo, and I believe it's like 320 or something like that. So it's something to strive for. Uh, so next week, you'll be facing the number three seed, Dave Maddell, and one step closer to the title belt. What are your thoughts? Oh, man, uh, I'm telling you, that thing is still shimmering in my eyes. I can't wait. I, I want to taste of that thing. All right, well, I'll see you next week, and we'll see everyone next week. King of the Palace.